Hello friends, we're doing Thursday the 9th of May 2024. Today I have decided to use the Spacious Tarot. Spacious Tarot is a beautiful deck that just gives you a different perspective on life, on situation, on circumstances. So let's see what is the energy of the day, what is the forecast, what do we need to know, what do we need to be aware of for Thursday the 9th of May 2024. Spacious Tarot, what do you want us to know today? Right, so I have shuffled and I am going to grab a card in the middle. What do we have? Oh, beautiful. We have the Magician. Now, the Magician is, is a beautiful card because the Magician is the card that has, he has all his tools. He has all his resources. He has everything that he needs to achieve and accomplish anything that he desires. But he has to have intent. He has to have purpose. And he has to know what, what it is that he wants to create. It's not a magic trick as in throw in a bunch of random ingredients and hope that something magical comes out of it. It unfortunately doesn't work that way the magician saying to you that uh, whatever it is that you've got on your cards today whatever it is that you've got planned there has to be a strategy there has to be some form of recipe there has to be some form of structure and if you follow that with a little bit of sleight of hand you can make it look fabulous you can make it be amazing but it's understanding that you've got to put the effort in that you've got to do the work that you've got to put things into motion in order to achieve positive outcomes Let's see what else. Second message, please. Second message to follow on from our magician. Second message to follow on from our magician. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay, apparently we're going to take that one. I don't normally take jumpers, but that one definitely felt like it was the right card. So here we have the nine of wands. Now, the first thing you notice, of course, is this beautiful, bright, vibrant rose, singular rose, okay? And then on either side of the rose, there are these opposite black and white yin and yang um, lines that all together, so if you add the four on this side, the four on that side, plus the rose, it gives you the nine. Now, the nine of wands is the card of feeling quite overwhelmed, feeling like, am I actually ever going to accomplish the things that I want to? Am I ever going to achieve? Because I've been working at this for such a long time that I just don't know, I just don't know if I'm ever going to succeed, if it's ever going to happen. And you know what, I think we all feel like that from time to time, don't we? We all feel like sometimes, you know what, I put so much effort in and I put so much energy and attention into following things through but it just never seems to come together and this is to me it's like everything clicking into place and everything coming together when we put the two together when we put the two together and we look at it as a collective as a as a combined message you have all the necessary ingredients you have everything that you need to accomplish whatever it is you need to. It's not going to be an easy road. It's not going to be simple. It's not going to be uncomplicated. Yes, you may encounter some, some challenges. Yes, you may encounter some obstacles along the way. And it may seem as if it's a daunting, never-ending, almost impossible kind of process. But persistence and perseverance is definitely going to pay off today. I do want to say, though, with the magician coming through, that if you attempt something today, and it doesn't work out, and I think I've said this message a few times this week, if it doesn't work out the first time you try something, it doesn't mean you throw in the towel that you're a loser, that you're a failure, that, that you're not really getting things done the way that they need to. What it means is that you need to tweak your process, that you need to tweak your method, that you need to change your quantities in your ingredients ever so slightly. Make those little adjustments. And if you make those little adjustments, then you, you're going to get better results. But if you allow yourself to get that feeling of overwhelm, if you allow yourself to get to that point of <gasps> panic and fear and anxiety, then you're, you're just going to cycle in this perpetual chaos and madness. So what we need to do is we need to be very mindful. We need to be very aware of what it is we're doing, how it is we're doing, how much of it we're doing, okay? And when things start getting tough, when things start getting difficult, it's about changing the method, the process, the, the recipe, okay, just ever so slightly, tweaking it here and there. And by doing so, you will eventually get yourself to a place of success. So today, 
is going to be, I'm going to call it a day that may have one or two challenges or obstacles thrown at you. But the trick here is to change our behavior, our reactions, our outcomes until such time as we succeed. We are so close, okay? Because that's the other thing that the Nine of Wands is saying to us, that you are literally that far away from success. But you've got to push through. You know, if you think about somebody who runs marathons, not me, okay? <laughs> I am not a marathon runner. I am not speaking from experience. I'm speaking from theory, right? <laughs> if you think about somebody who runs a marathon, they start off strong and enthusiastic and whatever. And as they run, they have these, these pits where they have high energy and low energy and high energy and low energy. But as they get closer and closer to the end, they start questioning and doubting themselves. Like, can I do it? Can I do it? You know, is my body going to survive? Am I going to make it through? Am I going to be able to push through the pain and the agony and the suffering? And then eventually when they do, it's that feeling of exhilaration and that's what we've got going here but persistence is what's going to get you to that feeling of exhilaration so friends i do hope that you have a wonderfully fantastic amazing day